hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel today i am going to show you how you can edit this portrait step by step so first step what we have to do is clean i'm just gonna go to my actions as you can see them click clean and click play after you click clean you have two layers the first one is a black and white help layer which is a helping layer that helps us for better and faster clean and this layer named clean is a duplicated background and your name clean that we're gonna use for cleaning for cleaning we have to use three tools one is spot healing brush healing brush and patch tool so I'm just gonna start working with spot healing brush and I will switch between the tools with my keyboard so let's just start cleaning on the eyebrows first because I think that this portrait needs the most is that cleaning on the eyebrows and this tape too I think that we have to leave it for later because we are gonna clean that with frequency separation which is gonna help us uh, clean with two different techniques I mean like that first we have to clean on the color and after that we are gonna clean on the texture you have to zoom in and zoom out I mean like not very often but you have to do that because you don't want to do something wrong and when you are zoom in you can see the wrong things that you might have done in your portrait so I suggest you to zoom in and zoom out time by time if you want to see the what you have done so far let's just keep cleaning because this is the most important part the retouching because when we are done with clean you can work with frequency separation or dodge and burn depends on the technique that you like the most usually I, I combine them both I use frequency separation first after I do that I use dodge and burn because this is the technique I like to retouch this is what I'm gonna show you today you can find the actions that I'm using on my links down below you can buy them in my gumroad account recently I have made a package where you can buy the retouching action full pack and my two groups of color grade one is the white skin color grade and the other one is dark skin color grade you can check the links down below as i said it's a package with my retouching action full pack and color grades in this video tutorial we are gonna retouch first and after we are done with retouching I'm gonna color grade this portrait with my color grading actions so let's just keep cleaning as I said before the cleaning is a very important process because when you're done cleaning if you don't like the retouching photos you can leave it like that because if you do like a professional clean I mean like if you put some time on cleaning this portrait is gonna look good retouch is more like when you make that crispy look on your portraits so why not doing that but as I said, you have to clean first until you make all this portrait look good on cleaning. 
the other parts are like a plus on retouching but you have to clean first as you can see I'm switching between the three tools I mentioned before which is spot healing brush healing brush and patch tool I renamed the keyboard with JK and L so I can switch faster between them uh, for this part of the nose we are gonna make a selection and burn that place I mean like we are gonna burn we are gonna use the burn tool or a black brush depends on the situation that we're gonna be here usually I prefer the a black brush but sometimes I use even a mixer brush when the details are too much but if, the, if there are no details in this portrait we are gonna use a black brush let's just clean this backdrop because it needs a little touch usually I prefer to leave the ear like they are but sometime we have to clean them because it looks way more good for example in this part as you can see I'm struggling with spot healing brush so I'm just gonna use the clone stamp tool we're gonna click alt for copy the color and paste it here uh, make sure that settings of the clone stamp tool are hardness zero and for the size you can decide on that and I think that for the moment is looking good but if you want to make this in a precisely way you can you can create a, a shape around the hair and use the stamp tool clone stamp tool sorry and clean this messy hair in a professional way but for my, for my opinion usually I leave the hair as they are because I don't want to lose time on retouching messy hair on the backdrop or the background because I think it looks good but if you wanna do that if you wanna clean it you can create a shape let's just start right there I think this part is okay and create a, a selection around the hair and for this part I think that is gonna look ridiculous but let's just create this selection and you can decide if you wanna clean the hair in this way or not uh, you can use this technique of cleaning for your future projects because when you photo when you make photos in the studio usually there are some messy hair of the model and clients want to clean them so I would suggest watching this tutorial closely because this one is for you after we have done our selection I'm just gonna click Ctrl and J to create a copy of this selection because I think that we need it and create another clean copy layer Control, hold Control and click on this selection and for this part I'm gonna use mixer brush because this is the best way for cleaning this part uh, don't forget to make wet 100 and flow 100 and start swiping this part because this is how you get the best color of your backdrop 
oops that as you can see we are making making some mistakes here so i'm just gonna zoom in and i think that we are done i just check before and after and i think it's looking good but this part should remain so i'm just gonna create a layer mask here click b for brush with a black brush we're gonna recover this part over here because i think that was looking okay and yeah i think it's okay for the moment uh, click control and select both layers merge them into one as you can see clean copy let's just check before and after this whole process and yeah i think it's looking good so let's just keep cleaning uh, for this part i think that i'm just gonna speed it up because there are a lot of things that you are gonna do in this portrait so let's just speed this up and after we are done with cleaning let's just check before and after yeah i think it's looking good let's just click on control pull it and click clean and background click merge after we have done that uh, we are gonna work on frequency separation i just click fs plus click play for the radius you have to zoom in into some high details of your portrait so i'm just gonna zoom in and slide it until it disappear let's just zoom out i think that 12 uh, is gonna be okay open the group click on low frequency turn off the high frequency click on mixer brush for the wet we are gonna go by 10 for the load by 22 mix by 40 maybe 50 and for the flow we're gonna go between 20 and 30 and i guess 30 is okay and start mixing some skin tones let's just create another a bigger brush and start mixing You can turn on the help layer because it's gonna help you a lot for mixing the skin tones as you can see we have some shadows lights mid-tones etc etc but you but, but you can choose uh, which technique you wanna work as i said before you can choose on frequency or dodge and burn or you can combine them both and get some great results i can guarantee you that because when you use frequency and dodge and burn you're gonna create some great thing you're gonna turn your portraits into looking marvelous because uh, if you post your portraits without retouch you aren't gonna get that crispy look for social media because this is the place where you are gonna learn the retouching step by step i mean my channel but as i said on the beginning you have to buy my actions because this is how i make my living and when you buy my actions you guys are helping me to make more videos about retouching and help me out as a as a retoucher as a photoshop artist
So I hope you find helpful this tutorial and I hope that some of you guys buy my actions and use them for touching. And I wanna say thank you to all the people who have bought my actions, who still buy my actions. Uh, you guys are helping me a lot, so thank you. And I wanna thank all my subscribers who watch my video tutorials. Uh, if you are not a subscriber already, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Please leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to like my videos because of the algorithm. Because when you do that, when you subscribe, when you comment, when you like, you're helping the YouTube suggesting my videos to others. So don't forget to leave a comment down below. Also, let me know about my English, if I am understandable, because English is my secondary language and sometimes I lose some words and that's why because I don't communicate with people in English this is the reason but don't forget to leave a comment about my English language if I am understandable uh, this way you guys help me about about me uh, for making more video tutorials with voice and I hope you enjoy my video tutorials with English speaking let's just check what we have done here with frequency and as you can see before and after I think it's looking really nice uh, after you're done with low frequency now it's time for high frequency or the texture so I'm just gonna zoom in click on clone stamp tool and start cleaning with clone stamp tool but you have to be careful with clone stamp tool because when you have this kind of portraits with high texture you have to be careful when you do the cleaning with clone stamp tool because you don't want to destroy the texture. The biggest mistake that people do is that they destroy the texture and this is why you can get that crispy look on your eye and retouching. Usually when I'm done with this tutorial, I put my PSD file on Gumroad and you can buy the PSD file uh, that includes the origin, original file, uh, the layers which is frequency, dodge of burn, etc, etc and the color grading files. I do that because when you're watching this tutorial and you have bought my actions and you're trying to learn high-end retouching you can uh, check before and after of your work and my work so you can combine them while on your process of retouching so you will become a better retoucher or you can come you can come better on retouching so this is the reason I put my PSD file for sale and I do that because you can compare your work with my work which is shown on this video tutorial and this is the reason of the PSD file so don't forget to check the links down below always because I put something 
on the links they are not just for no reason there so don't forget to check them and i think that now it's time for this tape that we're gonna work but first we're gonna remove this tape on low frequency or on the colors uh, i'm gonna do that with mixer brush i'm just gonna mix the skin tones here from the face and remove that tape which is kind of into white something like that something like gray as you can see and we'll just check before and after yeah i think it's looking good now it's time for high frequency or the texture so be careful that because you have to clean this part on the skin and after you do that you have to work on the hair this is the reason why we have to work with frequency because you can't remove this on dodge and burn this is a fact and no one can deny it even the people who say that i don't use frequency etc etc trust me that without frequency separation you can get the great results for example removing this tape as you can see let's just zoom out but we have removed this tape uh, I'm gonna add some burn here you have burn here and with exposure by 10 I'm working on midtones because I don't want to work on highlights or shadows for the moment and yeah I think it's looking good so let's go to the other side of this tape on low frequency use mixer brush after you have removed the tape on the color it's time for the texture click on high frequency with clone stamp tool remove this part don't forget to be careful because you don't want to put some hair from here to there and for, exa for example this texture is from this part so i'm just gonna reduce that and give it sample let's just add some burn here click on low frequency click on burn which is here with 10 mid-tones as previously on that other side let's just check before and after and yeah i think it's looking really nice but as you can see using burn i have destroyed some colors here so i'm just gonna copy the colors from this part like before brush with a two to three opacity of the brush we have 100 flow let's just add some colors here and yeah i think it's looking good let's just check before and after this whole process and now it's time for this part of the lips i mean like if you want to leave the this kind of blood something like that more reddish if you want to remove it you can do that if you want to leave it into original it's okay by the way you can find this raw file on the telegram channel long uh, <coughs> sorry link down below uh, after you have downloaded this you can start working with me step by step let's just check before and after yeah it's looking good now work on the high frequency or the texture and clean this part until you think that is okay let's just check before and after oops sorry we have to work on this part too zoom out before and after and 
I think it's looking really nice. Also, we have to watch closely on some parts because, as I said before, we have to be careful on the texture. You don't want to destroy it. So just keep it simple. And I think it's looking really nice. Uh, I'm just going to add an, another anti-layer here and create a shape. Or maybe we don't want to create a shape, just create an empty layer. Click I for copy this color, B for brush with a 100 opacity of that, and start painting here. Uh, but we are gonna just remove the hair on the nose. If you want to leave it as it is, you can do that. It's not a problem, but for my opinion i think that i have to clean this and it's looking good after you're done with frequency separation uh, you can add some extras to this part you can just create two empty layers or maybe three but from normal mode to soft light uh, the two empty layers and the third one into screen Click on the first one, copy this color, which is kind of into orange, with a brush of 10, and start painting. This is for makeup. We are gonna add some extra color here, because why not? Make sure to do that in both of this part, because we don't wanna just make it in the one side so let's just check before and after yeah it's looking really nice uh, just lower the opacity of this because it's looking too much click on this second empty layer zoom in maybe com copy this color which is kind of pink and start painting let's just check before and after yeah it's looking really nice don't forget to do that in both sides as you can see we have to clean some something here so let's just go to high frequency and with spot healing brush check before and after and i think it's looking really nice click on this empty layer 2 zoom in and maybe white color, something like that. Copy this color, or maybe this one. And we have some, I don't know, not just white, but kind of into the skin color. Let's just add some light here. And we're gonna reduce this layer because it's too much as you can see before and after and let's just reduce this into 20 something like that and i think it's looking good yeah i think for this part of makeup it's okay now let's just go add some dodge and burn uh also add some i plus which is for eyes and usually i work on lips i work on lips and cheeks uh, let's just work on the touch first uh, add this black and white layer and click b for brush let's just start touching some parts Dodge is for brightening and you have to work with dodge only on the parts where you have highlights because you don't want to add dodge in the hair or in the black parts for example the shadows because you're not gonna do anything just make a ridiculous kind of tone i don't know what to say Dodge is only for the 
highlights or if you want to add some brightness into some parts don't forget that I'll just zoom out because we're gonna add some dodge here we're gonna add some dodge into the fingers let's just check before and after yeah I think it's good turn off the black and white layer let's just check dodge yeah I think it's looking really nice but as you can see, it's a little too much. So I'm just going to lower the opacity of this. And now it's time for... Oops, sorry. Now it's time for burn. Usually I burn my cheeks. I mean, like, not my cheeks, but the portrait. I don't want to sound like a ridiculous guy, but... I'm just gonna add some burn here into the eyebrows, some into this part of the nose, under the lips a little bit, and let's just check before and after this burn. And yeah, I think it's looking good. Just that we have added some into the hand, so I'm just gonna remove this with a black brush. Let's just check now before and after this whole process. And I think that we have added a little too much dodge on this part so I'm just gonna remove this with a black brush let's just check before and after and yeah I think it's looking really nice now it's time for the lips nope it's time for the eyes so just open the group of the eyes zoom in remove veins as you can see it's for removing and cleaning the white of the eyes uh, make sure that you are working on both sides as you can see we are smoothing out some eyelashes but I'm just gonna reduce the opposite of this into 30 something like that now it's time for brightening add some brightness in both of the eyes don't forget that and it's too much of course but every time lower the opacity of this add some eyeball lightning you're working with a brush as you can see guys with a white brush and 100% of opacity and lower the opacity of this part add some iris contour this is my best favorite part because I really love the contours on the eyes, cheeks, lips everything let's just check as you can see it's too much obviously but reduce the opacity of this and this one is iris color which is for colors if you want to change the colors of the eyes from blue into green into yellow into brown depends on what you want to do as you can see we have had some color into the eyes but I think that for normal mode I'm just gonna go to soft light as you can see they are darker but I really like it but reduce the opacity of this into 20 let's just check before and after this whole group and as you can see it's a little too much and reduce the opacity before and after this whole process and yeah I think it's looking good now it's time for the lips let's just zoom in click B for brush and start painting on the rosy lips with a white brush this is more like a lipstick thing it adds some color into the lips as you can see we are out of the lips here so I'm just gonna clean that 
let's just zoom out and obviously too much but always reduce the opacity of this let's just check before and after and yeah i think it's looking good now it's time for the rosy cheeks this layer is for rosy cheeks is more like for makeup and as you can see it's too much and also we are we have added some color into the heads so let's just remove this from the ears too and reduce the opacity of this into 20 no it's too much 10 maybe and let's just check before and after this whole process and yeah it's looking really nice one more thing is that you're gonna clean this part on the texture if you wanna reduce that with a faster way you can uh, create another copy of this background layer click shift and hold click here make a group a group from layers rename this group retouch also don't forget to save this document because if you lose your electricity you're gonna lose the document too I mean like only if you're using a PC because if you have a laptop that's okay let's just check before and after this whole process and yeah I guess it's looking really nice duplicate this and merge layer merge group sorry you will make only a single layer click control and here click control and C for copy go to file new and I think that you have created oops sorry so let's just uh, delete this click control and C for copy file new and we have created the same side document uh, click paste here and merge the layers after you have done that now it's time for the reducing some eye texture on the forehead uh, you can do that by clicking play here in the ultra smooth skin and this is for a quick skin ultra smooth skin magic brush light power is for the if you wanna retouch but in a fast way this one skin smooth too we are just gonna add some skin smooth click play this is gonna take some time because it's a more detailed uh, technique this is for skin smooth obviously you can use that uh, when you're done with cleaning and if you want to add just a few touches on retouch you can click play on the skin smooth and just wait until all this process is done as you can see as you can see it has added a natural skin smoother click on the layer mask with a brush of 100 start painting on the skin as you can see it's a skin smooth I really like this but I don't use that much because of the details in my portraits I use that a really few times but when I do that I reduce the opacity of this into 20 something like that because obviously this is too much let's just zoom in and you can see that we have softened the texture let's just zoom out after you have done that you have to click on this digital skin texture because we are we want to add some skin texture and start painting on the skin because after you have uh, softened the texture you have to you have to add some skin texture 
I mean like some fake skin texture but it will make your portrait look better so let's just paint on the skin only on the skin this is not for the eyes eyebrows nose etc etc only for the skin and reduce this turn on that first reduce the natural skin smoother into 40 maybe and add the skin texture as you can see before and after it's too much but i think 25 is gonna work good let's just check before and after yeah i think it's looking good merge the layers and copy this and put it back in the original file let's just zoom in and the reason why you have to do this process by another window because when you click play on the skin smooth you're gonna destroy all the layers here so you have to have a on the layer which is the background and i think that we are done with retouching here as you can see before and after and i think now it's time for color grading so we are just gonna go to color grade white skin and find the perfect skin tones i mean like perfect color grading sorry guys For this portrait i'm gonna use uh, two groups of color grading so i'm just gonna move this group into my original file and find another color grade and i think i'm gonna add this one yeah i think it's looking good drag and drop this group into my original and start working on this first group so i'm just gonna disable all the layers and check them one by one until i find my perfect color grade you have to work on the opacity of each layer because you can find your perfect color grade there that is hiding from you you have just to check the layers one by one so don't forget that and make this group by 40 something like that i just add this until we find the perfect color grade and as you can see this one is too much so i'm just gonna make it 10 percent add some more light into this color balance and this one you have to disable because it's running that and i think that we are done with this uh, group too so i'm just gonna add some more details for example color balance i'm just gonna duplicate this Click on the first one, click on the highlights because I want to make this portrait look like more into the warm tones and I think it's looking good. Now double click on these two, go to shadows and play with the cyan, magenta and yellow until we find the perfect sorry color grade you have to work with them slowly until you find your perfect color grade and i think that for the moment is looking good i'm just gonna add the photo filter here and turn this from normal mode into color and reduce the opacity of this and duplicate the photo filter from color mode into screen as you can see i have added some light here and i think five is good after you have done that you can click on face contouring which is gonna create a nice effect here of this portrait 
and let's just check before and after as you can see the highlights are too much so i'm just gonna reduce the highlights here also reduce the opacity of this layer and let's just check before and after i think it's looking good shift hold the shift click here on the contour make the group and rename this color grid as you can see the before and after let's just turn off that this is the before and this is the after we touch this is before this is after and this is after we have added some color grid let's just check before and after this whole process let's just zoom in if you want to see more details before after before after so this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial uh, please don't forget to leave a subscribe don't forget to leave a comment down below also drop some likes for the algorithm and see you guys in the next one peace